Hey guys, welcome back to the reading project. It's Lior here. As a part of the reading project, I decided to read about the first female prime minister of Israel. Drum roll, please. Yay, Golda Meir. Let's start in the beginning of her life. Golda was born on May 3rd, 1898. She was born in Kiev, Ukraine. Kiev is actually the chief city and capital of Ukraine. During that year, Ukraine was actually a part of Russia. Living in Ukraine, she was exposed to the pogrom attacks against Jews. So at age 8, she and her family fled Russia and moved to Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Her parents didn't want her to attend high school, so she ran away. She decided to move in with her sister Shayna. Shayna was actually a strong Zionist. Shayna would have meetings in her house with a whole bunch of people discussing Zionism, and Golda would drink every single word of it. As Golda grew up, she attended North Division High School. At age 17, she joined the Marxist Zionist group, and that's when her Zionism career began. In 1916, she attended the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee. In 1917, she married Morris Mayerson and attained a teacher's certificate. Golda always wanted to get stuff done, and she felt like she couldn't accomplish as much as she wanted to in the U.S. for Zionism. In 1921, Golda and Morris Mayerson immigrated to Palestine and joined their Mojave kibbutz. Two years later, they moved to Jerusalem and had two kids. In 1948, Israel declared its independence, and Golda was one of the signers of Israel's declaration. In 1949, she insisted that Ben Gurion would send her to America to raise funds for the Israeli War of Independence. The Jewish agency doubted she would raise the 5 million they needed, but they were wrong. She came back with 50 million dollars cash. In 1969, she became the fourth Prime Minister of Israel. During her term, she gained economic and military aid from US President Richard Nixon. Then came the Yom Kippur War. The war surprised all of Israel. Golda was warned that there was going to be a war, but she didn't respond. In April 10th, 1974, she was exhausted and willing to let other people lead. She retired for good. On December 8th, 1978, Golda died in Jerusalem suffering from leukemia. She died at age 80. Golda was a very successful person, and she was the first female prime minister of Israel, but I also hope she will not be the last. Thank you so much for watching, give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe, turn on bell notifications so you can get a notification when our next video is up. See you next time.